In this video we're going to be doing a quick introduction to Drupal Console. But first, what is Drupal Console? Drupal Console is a CLI tool for Drupal 8 built with the Symfony Console component. Most of the things that we could do with Drush, we could also do with Drupal Console. Things like cache clear, install or uninstall a module, run updates, cron, generate one-time login and many others. Plus it has really nice debugging options like to see all the viable routers and stuff like that. And something that is super nice it's actually the boilerplate generate options where you could basically generate skeleton for a droop weight module. This is something that is very popular in the Symfony community where you could generate for example entity classes or form classes or controllers. We're going to see how the Drupal console works inside of Docker for Drupal because there it's already installed and we're going to generally check all the viable commands but it's just a basic overview so we're not going to go in details in this video. So here we have a Drupal that is having also a Docker Compose with the Docker for Drupal setup. So let's go ahead and start the containers. And we have all of our containers running. And the next thing we want to do is we want to basically SSH to the PHP container. So if we do a docker compose ps, we're going to see the running containers and we could simply copy the name of the PHP one and we could do docker exec minus it, the name of the container, and then bash. There we go we're inside of the PHP container and if we are in the web folder or basically everywhere but let's just move to the web folder because we're going to clear the cache in a bit if we just run Drupal we're going to see all the viable commands from the Drupal console project that's perfect. So let's briefly go and check the different types of commands that we have with the Drupal console project. So we see here that it's the output from the Drupal console and we could have these options and the interesting parts are for example for cache clear something that you could use quite often also for the config for example for importing and exporting of the configuration for creating nodes of course different modules could bring their own Drupal console commands so here we have the ones that we have also from the devel module so we have here for creating like nodes and terms and users so content in general running cron some database some debug so we could see all the breakpoints that are available in our system as we saw we could check the permissions plugins rows we could also generate stuff this is the interesting bit that i told you about like we could basically generate a form class like this or a form author or we could generate a service or a team it's very interesting and very useful we could install or uninstall modules update and download I would not recommend because that's something that we should do with Composer 
and there are also some interesting commands for for example installing a Drupal site from the command line and disabling or enabling views and different commands that are regarding users for example generating one-time login that is super useful for example if you forgot your admin password and you're locked out of your site and you could just generate a one-time login and you could revert it so let's go ahead now and simply clear the cache in order to see how it works we could just go ahead and run Drupal cache rebuild and hit enter and this way we simply cleared the Drupal cache if you like this video please check the links in the description like subscribe and thanks for watching